Guys, how you doing? My name's Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. The next uh, few shows are going to feature a uh, TGI Friday's uh, Jack Daniels sauce. It's a copycat recipe that I've made a couple times on some past shows. I got a, a poll down at my uh, Master Built Facebook group. I'll leave a, a link down below to that group if you uh, own a, a Master Built and you want to check out that group, or if you're thinking about buying a Master Built. Check out that group. It's a free to join, and we got a lot of great members. We're 4,000 strong, and we're growing pretty fast. So today's show is just going to be the JD sauce, and uh, from there, what we're going to do is some recipes that'll pair well with that sauce. Like, like I said, ribs, wings, burger, steak, you name it, we're going to do it. So look, this is a sauce you're definitely going to want to make. Stay tuned. This is going to be a, a pretty cool couple cooks. No, get. going today hit that subscribe button ring that bell so you get notified on every time I do an upload now look just a reminder I am doubling the recipe because I'm going to be doing a few different cooks off this sauce right so I'm doubling everything the full ingredient list will be down in the description, so make sure you check that out. I, I got two full heads of garlic. You remove the uh, tops, hit it with a little olive oil, get your uh, oven uh, cruising along at 400 Fahrenheit, where you're gonna bake it for approximately 30 minutes or until the uh, flesh is soft. Back over at the uh, board, we got a uh, white onion. And what you want to do is you want to dice these up fine, right? Dice them up fine. An easy way to do this is just go along with the uh, grain like that. Be careful, obviously. Then you want to uh, turn it and slice it down into the grain. Just like that. And then you want to go down like that against the grain, and that'll give you a uh, that'll give you a, a pretty a fine a diced onion. What I'm looking for here is six tablespoons of minced white onion. Again, I am doubling the recipe. You can uh, get the uh, whole ingredient list down below. And from there, what we want to do is get some uh, Jack Daniels, two uh, tablespoons of Jack Daniels. Two tablespoons of crushed pineapple. Two thirds cup of water, twice. Two cups of pineapple juice, just like that. half a cup of teriyaki sauce and uh, two uh, tablespoons of that uh, soy sauce. One and one, one and one third cup of dark brown sugar twice. And give that a uh, good mix. Now look, this is a one recipe that I actually do use measurements. 
because I find that to nail these measurements, you will nail the recipe, okay? So look, 30 minutes is up. We get our garlic cloves out. And what we're gonna do here is obviously be careful because it is very hot and you just wanna squeeze the bulbs and the flesh will just kind of pile right out. Look, if you've never done this to garlic, you should give this a shot because uh, this is good on crackers, any kind of sauces. I mean, this is bona fide good stuff right here. Oh, man, that looks good. Now, if any uh, peels kind of shoot out with it, just kind of get all the... Uh, Get all the uh, flesh out of the uh, peel and just kind of put that on the side, no big deal. And this is like a, uh, almost like an applesauce, right? If you got any uh, chunks, just kind of smush it down and get it into the uh, paste form, of course. Now, what we want to do here is we want to get that in the uh, sauce and mixture. There you go. Start bringing that up to a uh, low simmer. Now what we're gonna do here is uh, six tablespoons of lemon juice. You could use lemon juice or uh, fresh lemons. I had some lemons handy, so I'm gonna squeeze those in. Get those minced onions in. that uh, crushed pineapples in and there's that uh, JD old number seven in and you want to get this uh, mixture up to a low boil a simmer be careful that you don't burn it because you are working with sugar in there so just keep it moving keep it moving keep it moving right you're going to reduce this down by a quarter. You're looking to thicken it up. And just a way to tell is you see those bubbles on the top. And you'll see as I mix, you'll, uh, you'll notice the uh, bubbles kind of start moving slow as they uh, dissipate, right? That's when you know you're getting thicker. There you go. And now look, from there what you want to do, and this is about a 15 minute process, okay? Remember, it will thicken up in the uh, fridge, so no big deal. 15 minutes, keep it stirring, keep it moving. Get it off to the uh, side, cool it down, and get it in your container, of course. Look, this is an easy sauce to make. This is TGI Friday's copycat. JD sauce and it is on the money it is money all right look we're gonna use this sauce on the uh, next couple dishes and I'm real real excited to uh, bring you this recipe and those recipes we got ribs wings uh, maybe some ribeye steak maybe a nice burger these are all JD'd up and this is gonna be uh, really really good stuff you're definitely gonna want to make this sauce for sure because once you do you'll fall in love with it. Look, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, so you get notified on all of my uh, future cooks. And look, another way to tell that you're a thick is when it uh, kind of sticks to the spoon like that. You know you're good enough to go. Alrighty, look, that's it for this one. We will uh, catch you on the next one. I'm gonna drop a couple videos here on the side. You check those out. I'll see you there, and I'll see you soon.